What do you do after you take a drink from a plastic bottle or use a plastic bag? Do you feel any responsibility towards your environment? Perhaps that plastic bottle you tossed, by the way, is of little importance. Well, think again. It is forecasted that by the year 2050, there will be more plastics in the ocean than fishes. The implication of that, more release of toxic chemicals, fishes are poisoned, we consume the poisoned fishes, and are you talking about the rising cases of cancer? Even if you don't consume fish, when plastic breaks down, the particles can get to the waterbed of the earth and back to your tap. How about the dangers of a toxin's release when plastic is burned indiscriminately? You are on to Environment Watch on independent television. I am Jennifer White, and we'll be talking about plastic waste, an urgent environmental crisis. Stay tuned. I'm uh, Professor Kessin Tinabaya Wong, Professor of Chemical Engineering, University of Benin. Plastics generally are polymers. They usually come from petrochemical products, and uh, that's where the chemical origin, what they use in producing plastics, come from. And then the nature of the plastic you have will be dependent on the use you want to put it to. There are some plastics you use as plastic bags. There are some used for sachet water. You know, such plastics have their origin as polyethylene. Then uh, you also have plastics that can be used for containers, for pipes. Okay? Such plastics are known as polyvinyl chloride because of its strength and rigidity. Because if you have a pipe, for example, plumbing materials, you see all of them are plastics. Before water can pass through, you must be able to resist some pressure. And but, but if you compare it to such a water, there's a difference. Okay? And then uh, plastics are found used in several areas of human endeavor because of its flexibility. And uh, it's relatively cheaper when you look at other container products. And then uh, you can also recycle it and get it back again without actually losing too much of its original mineral value. You know, but by and large, plastic, plastics have now constituted a menace because of its cheap nature. Many companies prefer to use it as their either bagging or container materials because it's relatively cheap. And then since it's also malleable, it's moldable into different shapes, you know, every company wants to have an identity. Okay, if you look at uh, Coca-Cola has its own unique plastic container. So if you also look at uh, other products, Pepsi will always want, also want to have its own unique nature. So when you see it from afar, you are enticed to buy, oh, that, that brand is from Coca-Cola. This one is from Pepsi and so on and so forth. So, but uh, the world has realized that uh, people have shifted from other polymer product, uh, other container products because plastic is not biodegradable. It does not degrade quickly with time. Whereas other container products, if you leave them, after some time, they go spoiled. But plastic is not like that. It can retain, if that is cheap, for, say, for decades of years because it's not biodegradable. So it can remain there the way it is. And because of its lightweight, it is not constant menace you know when they dispose it and there is uh, it's not properly disposed when water rain falls it is carried away with the flood water and if that flood water uh, a mistake enters into the river you see that uh, there'll be a lot of plastic containers in the water but Nigeria produces about 22.7 percent of plastic waste polluting the ocean so China is the worst offender. Plastic waste can be classified into three groups. You have the microplastic, you have the mesoplastic, you have the macroplastics. You know, uh, when plastics are disposed, uh, they either get themselves disposed on land, the majority of it get disposed in waterways and finally end up in the ocean. Those ones that get disposed on land, uh, if there is some methods of cleaning it may end up in landfills and of course you know when you get to landfills you see all the scavengers go there they pick them up and bring them back to sell 
for recycling. You know, so plastic generally is a menace to the world, not even Nigeria. But Nigeria is a great polluter of plastic because virtually everything that we use here is for plastics. And uh, the COVID did also help matters with, with plastic uh, pollution uh, because of uh, disposable mask, disposable mask, you know, and then uh, giving vaccines to people. All those injection syringes, they are plastic in nature. So you can, and they cannot use one syringe for more than one person. So if you, for example, you inoculate two million persons, you are going to use two million syringes. It's not true. Yes. So you, disposing that, you know, it becomes a big a chunk. And it's, 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 so these are some of the problems. When plastics are disposed into the oceans, because of the waves of the ocean and the weathering that occurs, some of the bigger plastics are now broken down into meso and microplastics. And in those micro form, the fishes, we see them in the river and think they are food, they'll eat them. Eh? And then they take them into their system. They become part and parcel of their body. So when humans also now buy fish and you consume it, you are indirectly also consuming the plastic. You see it. And then I've seen a case where a whale that died on shore, when they opened it up, it was full of plastic. It was full of, uh, when uh, fishermen, at times they have uh, nets they use, they can get net lost in sea. Eh? And most of those nets are made from plastics. So you see a big whale like that swallowing that kind of thing. Then you even see birds beds coming around the beaches and so on. When they see these uh, broken down plastic in small forms, they think they are food. They pick them up and eat them. You know, and when they get into their system, they can now come and become toxic to the beds. And when humans, you know, we are the, the, the end of the food chain. You know, we well, every other thing, we, we control it. So when humans now consume those things, you gradually take all those chemicals in, like all the chemicals I've just mentioned down, you know, and they may not kill you immediately, but they will build up gradually in your system, in your tissues, because they are not uh, lethal enough to kill until they get to a lethal dose, where they can become either carcinogenic, or they can cause one health problem or the other. By 2055 or so, uh, they are thinking the number of plastics in the sea should be more than the number of fishes in the sea. You see, because of the level of plastic pollution, you see, the compliance is not there. Every country is trying to put a measures in place to reduce the use of plastics as containers, as uh, other materials, you know, but the enforcement is a big problem. How effective are the laws? The laws are in place. Just like, let's take Nigeria, for example. Uh, suddenly we now know, because we are very conscious of our health, that drinking very hygienic and clean water is very vital. So we don't just drink water from any source. You see, but people have succeeded in packaging water in different forms. They call it pure water. Yeah, some are pure, some others you cannot really trust. But let's take the pure water, the one they call pure water, the water that is clean and portable for human consumption. They are in plastic containers. Is that not true? You know, I, I know virtually there's hardly anybody who just go to the tap and put his hand and drink water. Because the culture has got to that level where people now believe if my water is not in a sachet or in a bottled form, I will not drink it. And if a population of Nigeria, let's say we are 200 million, if for example, say 20 million of this population adheres to drinking clean and portable water that are in plastic containers. You should know the amount of plastics that is being disposed every day. And if we are to follow strictly the medical law, say, take at least almost three liters of water daily. So we miss one person to drink how many sachets of water? Six sachets of uh, water daily. So if one person drinks six on the average, what happens? And you say, 
maybe 5 million people drink 6-6. Six, six. Is that not 30 million sachet? All disposed either on land or it finds its way into the ocean. And then that is why the UN they are projected that by that year 2055, the amount of plastics in the oceans will be more than the fishes. A common term, the three arrows. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay? So if you are able to convert one plastic form into another form, you are reusing it. A, a waste, you have converted it. I've, I've seen people who are millionaires through collecting plastic waste and then now channeling it into other forms. You see, the bulk of toys have come from China. I would buy uh, many of them are uh, plastic containers. They contain plastics. And most of them are recycled plastics. So what they will do, maybe they will discover that if the plastic was not used for a, a, an edible thing, they may not want to use it to a product that can cause the contamination. To be able to completely eliminate plastic pollution, all hands must be on deck. Those are not in the laws. Those, those executing the laws and those implementing the laws. And you, you, to hold, you the person using the plastic, you also have to also be uh, having what we call self-education. My name is Frankie Nenemo. I'm the head environmental uh, head enforcement unit of the Edo State Ministry of Health. In modern times, most products now have been found very convenient by most manufacturers to put them into plastic packages. Well, that is not to say that uh, it is very, it's a very perfect idea because uh, looking at it with the ego's eye, it has a lot of environmental effects. It has a lot of health effects and other ecological problems that go with it. Uh, most times, most, in fact, oftentimes, most of the plastics are products of uh, polymer products. Let's start with the simple package water, uh, which is low density polyethylene. Uh, NAVDAC has come to warn us that any package water, the one we call pure water, but sometimes some of them are really poor water. You know, that once it is more than two months, it is not safe for consumption. Ask me why. Reason being that most of these vendors put them in the, under the sun. And under the intensity of the sun, more than two, three thousand of those chemicals start to dissolve into that same water. And that's why when they have become stale, they've exceeded their shell life, you start experiencing odor, taste, pure water. Sometimes you see some collider particles. That's on the one hand. So what our concerns are as environmentalists is that this uh, plastic waste should be properly disposed. Uh, they can be, because they are not biodegradable, so they can be in the environment for centuries, if care is not taken, for centuries. So environmental pollution in terms of land pollution is at risk because some of them, in course of time, will get dissolved in that soil. And when reinforced, they get to the underground water. And anybody consuming that underground water is at risk. Even by way of bad accumulation, some plants grow in such uh, uh, soil, they get, uh, they get uh, what you call bio accumulation. And when we eat such plants, they pretend some dangers to us too as human beings. And these dangers are not only uh, carcinogenic, that is capable of causing uh, uh, cancer, cancer of all sorts, melanoma and non-melanoma cancers. We also talk of uh, uh, teratogenic effects, that is destruction of cells, and then mutagenic, mutation of genes, where offsprings may not even resemble their parents any longer. That's mutagenic, teratogenic distortion of cells, and carcinogenics. So, 
Some of them too, they block our drains by the way Amana we dispose them. They block drains. And once they block drains, they will lead to flooding. And so you see that people sometimes are, are when it's raining, you see people bringing out all sorts of waste and be put in. Certainly with the we are talking of plastic now, which comes under the dry solid way. They are not putri uh, putricible, that is, they are not biodegradable, they don't decay. So they block drains. And once drains are blocked, they lead to what? Uh, they could lead to uh, flooding, erosion. And flooding can also be destructive to lives and properties. Okay? So, uh, the, 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 the solution to plastic waste problem will be that uh, the recyclable ones that, of high, that are of high economic values, the recyclable ones of high economic values should be salvaged by way of recycling, okay? Then, whilst you are recycling, you are also eliminating hazards to man. Physical hazard, biological hazard, and the chemical hazard that I have previously highlighted. Then, we can also reclaim too. And then, we can reuse. And uh, over and above that, we can change our packaging style. Product, uh, product, uh, producers, manufacturers should go into more research on how we can even be going into paper, more of paper packaging that are more of environmentally friendly uh, because they are from vegetables. So those ones are more uh, of environmental friendly uh, packaging stuff. And then again, again, more importantly, some of us have no knowledge of how to dispose this and the way we go into burning. And when we burn, don't forget, there are what we call chlorofluorocarbons that are implicated in the ozone layer depletion, climate change, and global warming on a larger uh, scale, on a uh, global uh, perspective. So this uh, 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 approach to uh, burning this plastic, which most of all, again, the National Policy on the Environment, France, uh, at burning of any kind. But when we have issues with uh, the waste managers, not coming to collect, and people cannot. So they, 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 they do all sorts of things, even disposal to the water bodies at the risk of aquatic lives, and then burning, which is so common. And there are a lot of laws that France are burning. And burning will emit those fumes, those other emissions of those chemicals that are contained in the plastics. And then they start to deplete the ozone with all the attendant effect of environmental, of, of the effect on the environment, effect on health. So it is really a challenge, it is really a problem, and I hope that uh, scientists, experts, will, including manufacturers, will find alternative means. But even at that, something has to be done so that we go into more of paper packaging which is more vegetable from trees and plants and more environmentally safe and more environmentally friendly to enable us avert all the hazards associated with uh, uh, plastic waste on the environment. To me, even as an enforcement officer, law enforcement officer in the environmental health sector, I believe more in what you call intensive environmental education on the people. Uh, the, the education is supposed to resolve in positive attitudinal change. In course of giving enlightenment, you are giving out information, like I've outlined all this, but it, when it does not resolve in positive attitudinal change on the part of the people, then the education may not have been said to have taken place. So that's why I always say, merit knowledge or merit information, it's not health education. See the environment as living, and that there's no other environment, it's just one environment. And the environment is everywhere. And the environment has a threshold limit to which it can withstand abuse. 
So if the environment has a threshold limit to which it can with can abuse, then we should see it as living so that it can continue to accommodate us. Thanks for staying with us through that incisive interview about plastic pollution. The situation at hand calls on everyone to take responsibility for our country is the seventh highest generator of plastic waste. As much as plastic is essential, we cannot run away from the looming danger. So reduce the use of plastic, or reuse, or recycle, or do all three. I have more news on the environment. Stay tuned. The Tripartite Project Agreement has been endorsed between the federal government and development partners for sustainable plastic waste management in the federal capital territory and Lagos State. The document signed between the Minister of State for Environment, Mrs. Sharon Ikeazo, Japanese Ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Matsunaga Kazuyoshi, and United Nations Industrial Development Organization Regional Director, Mr. John Bakol in Abuja, who promotes sustainable plastic value chain through circular economic practices. Findings on Nigeria waste consumption level revealed that the country's waste generation would drive her to be the world's largest producer of waste globally, especially as it does not have a deliberate plan of action to reverse the development. The survey commissioned by the government of Japan in 2021 showed that Nigeria consumption has grown from 578,000 metric tons to 1,250,000 metric tons, with a per capita consumption grown from 4 kg to 6.5 kg, while each citizen consumed 7.5 kg, which accounted for 13% of total solid waste. The report also ranks Nigeria as ninth country having coastlines generating mismanaged plastic waste and was predicted that by 2025, Nigeria will be the largest producer of mismanaged plastic waste in Africa. Based on this premise, the government said there is an urgent need to support the draft implementation guidelines of plastic waste management by creating a recycling value chain and demonstrating how municipalities could develop action plans. The Minister of State for Environment, Mrs. Sharon Ikeazo, said that with a population of over 200 million, Nigerians generate about 32 million tons of solid waste per year, out of which 1.15 million tons are plastic waste, with little or no segregation and illegally dumped in open spaces. Ikeazo said the practice of dumping waste in drainages or disposing hazardous and healthcare waste in dump sites has caused marine litter and perennial flooding across the country. She declared these unwholesome practices have led to increased respiratory and cardiovascular diseases, increased incidences of cancer, loss of aquatic life, loss in agricultural productivity, and generation of a large volume of plastic waste. The minister emphasized that the project would present circular economic business opportunities across the plastic value chain, which should be properly harnessed for job and wealth creation, establishment of micro, small and medium scale enterprises, and private sector investment. Ikeazo said one of the ways to realize this potential is to support the industry by demonstrating benefits of adopting circular economic practices with innovative technologies, including recycling technology or alternative material production. This project objective is to promote the integration of circular economic principles and practices into plastic waste management, strengthen plastic value chains, and demonstrate the benefits of adopting circular economic practices and resource-efficient production of plastic value chains in Nigeria. We have taken proactive measures to promote tissue and entrench sound circular economic principles and practices such as giving its prime national policies on solid waste and plastic waste management, Ikeazo added. The Japanese government has funded a study on available sustainable alternative materials for plastic innovation packaging and recycling technologies that could meet market demands in Africa to reduce plastic leakages to the environment in Nigeria. The envoy explained the draft document would serve as enhancement of the value of the Gulf of Guinea, development of a blue economy, prosperity of Nigerians, adding that Japan hopes to contribute through its technology and know-how. UNIDO representative Mr. John Bakol said the signing of a project agreement is aimed at supporting the efforts towards accelerating economic diversification and sustainable growth through inclusive and industrialization. For Oluyomi Banjo of UNIDO, Plastic litter is a major global environmental problem and its production has increased. Banjo said that the waste are released into the marine environment when improperly managed, could travel thousands of miles and in the process affect the ecosystem as well as the blue economy. He said the mismanaged plastics is a source of greenhouse gas emissions, adding that open burning of plastics emits toxic chemicals of 322 million metric tons of output to the environment and is expected to double by 2035 and triple by 2050. And that's all for our program today. 
Endeavor to share your views with me with pictures and videos about the environment on Twitter, just as displayed on the screen. And don't forget, we all have a responsibility towards the earth. See you next week, same time, same station. I am Jennifer White. Bye for now.